हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट देन व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ वेगोटमी सो इन पेप्टिक अल्सर ट्रीटमेंट एक्चुअली इट इज इन डिओडिनल अल्सर in the ordinal ulcer treatment we do vagotomy so we are going to see what are the types of vagotomy so vagotomy can be of three types we have highly selective vagotomy then we have vagotomy and drainage can be done and then we have vagotomy and antrectomy is also present so there are three types of vagotomy which are highly selective vagotomy vagotomy and drainage and antrectomy first we will see highly selective vagotomy so in this first highly selective vagotomy right in the highly selective vagotomy this is actually a procedure of choice which is done for chronic and intractable duodenal ulcers procedure of choice for chronic and intractable duodenal ulcers is actually a highly selective vagotomy so in highly selective vagotomy nerve of lethargic jet which is supplying the antrum is preserved in the highly selective vagotomy actually if you see this is the duodenum and we have the vagus okay this vagus will actually give a branch to the parietal branches are given and then it gives a branch to the actually here it gives a branch to the hepatic trunk hepatic branch it will be given and at the same time it gives one more branch to the gastric outlet okay then it also gives nerve of lethargic which is supplying the antrum it give one more branch which is nerve of lethargic which is supplying the antrum here so like this it gives the branch now in highly selective vagotomy we will just cut these parietal branches okay whereas the nerve of lethargic hepatic branch and also the branch which is given to celiac plexus all these are preserved only the parietal branches the branches supplying the stomach that is to the parietal cells are cut so here the highly um, this uh, nerve of lethargic is preserved drainage procedure is not required for highly selective vagotomy it has lowest mortality rate and lowest side effects because it has lowest side effects because you are preserving the hepatic branch you are preserving the celiac branch so if you cut the hepatic branch then there will be issues with the biliary drainage if you cut the um, this uh, uh, celiac branch there is gastric outlet obstruction is seen but because these both are preserved obviously there is less side effects are seen in this case and thus because of this there is also because of preservation of the celiac branch to the celiac axis there is minimal changes of drumping syndrome and minimal changes of gastric atony are also seen in the case patients but but here you are leaving lots of branches right you are only cutting the parietal branches you are leaving all these branches even nerve of lethargic is preserved so as a result there is high recurrence rate is seen with um highly selective vagotomy thank you and thank you for watching